I'm truly honored to speak after Dr. Anthony Fauci. His tireless dedication to fight and defeat the COVID-19 pandemic while displaying an unwavering commitment to scientific rigor and best practice is an inspiration to all who play a part in this global battle. I am Dr. Eran Harari, clinical lead in neurology and psychiatry of the research and development group at Teva Pharmaceuticals. As a physician who treated Holocaust survivors and as a family member of first and second generation survivors, I am deeply humbled to represent Teva in the March of Living ceremony, which despite being virtual is still an immensely important and moving tribute to victims and those who survived, perhaps more so after such a momentous year. As a psychiatrist, I have always believed in the human spirit and its limitless potential, but still was time and again amazed by the stories of the people who experienced this unprecedented event in the human history. Austrian psychiatrist and Holocaust survivor Viktor Frankl is a timeless testament to the luminous tenacity of the human spirit. His 1946 psychological memoir, Men's Search for Meaning, is one of the most vital books ever written. The gruesome experience of Auschwitz taught Viktor Frankl about the primary purpose of life, the quest for meaning. For Frankl, meaning came from three possible sources, purposeful work, love, and courage in the face of difficulty. And this quest for meaning is what drives us at Teva. Teva is an Israeli global pharma company now celebrating 120 years of service. A core tenet of our mission is and has always been to provide access to critical medicine for patients worldwide. And we are privileged to be able to reach and serve with our medicines nearly 200 million people every day. The challenges of COVID-19 have affected us all. For Teva, as a company with a leading role in the US, this meant keeping our plants and labs working around the clock and around the world to ensure an uninterrupted supply of those essential medicines. In Israel, we were honored to partner with the government and distribute millions of vaccine doses to hundreds of endpoints, helping to ensure one of the world's fastest and most efficient vaccine rollouts. Another contribution we are particularly proud of is a unique collaboration with two organizations, Unistream and 8400, in a scientific entrepreneurship project involving the children of medical staff working around the clock in hospitals across Israel as they fought on the front lines of the pandemic. These 200 children worked in team on technological solutions that would ease the burden on medical staff and patients and provide better tools for coping with the disease. The project entitled Biotech Next Generation introduced youths to the realms of health, medicine, biotech and entrepreneurship and provided the tools they need to establish their own groundbreaking startups in the future. Some of the winning solutions were particularly suited to support senior citizens, among them Holocaust survivors who have experienced great difficulties in isolation due to the characteristics of the pandemic. One example is a device that would allow patients to disconnect themselves from IV infusion so they can move around freely, potentially improving the quality of life for many elderly people. Efrat Rosenhaft is a member of the design team for this innovation. Efrat's father, Yair Rosenhaft, is an internist nurse at the Tel Aviv hospital, and Efrat's grandmother, Malka Bennett, was born in Czechoslovakia and brought to Auschwitz along with her three sisters before surviving and moving to Israel. Malka takes great pride in Efrat. Another example is of Dr. Zandberg, who is the granddaughter of Holocaust survivors who lost most of the family in the Holocaust. While she was working day and night treating COVID-19 patients in the emergency room, the young children of her colleagues developed apps and tools to help people like her grandparents. Among those solutions was an app for connecting those in quarantine and isolation during the pandemic that provides mental support, activities to pass the time, and quick access to experts. Yet another was a tool that allows seniors to talk to each other, listen to lectures, call for volunteers, and enjoy their environment in a convenient and simple way. This is a living example of passing down from generation to generation, midor le do in Hebrew, the moral commitment to help others and care for the community. As Teva's lead in this project, working with these bright kids and seeing them bring such original solutions and unending energy to this unprecedented challenge filled me with hope that this generation has what it takes to ensure that past generations and their sacrifices will not be forgotten or left behind.